We all know that stress can put your mind and body at risk, especially if you perceive it in such a way. If you perceive stress as a bad thing, then yes, it becomes that much worse. Because ultimately, we need stress. Stress is good. It's our body's natural response to raise to a higher level so that we can accomplish things. But when you have chronic levels of it, that's when it gets bad. Because stress can cause these oxidative buildups which cause diabetes, they can make you gain weight, they can cause autoimmune disease, they can make you depressed. And that's just naming a few of them. So in this video, I want to explain how you can nutritionally alter your body's biological response to stress. You're basically going to hack your way through being able to lower the cortisol levels that are associated with stress. But before we get there, let's talk about how this works, how your body perceives stress and how it functions physiologically. So when you first have a threat, your body sees a threat and it triggers this stress response. What happens is neurons within the hypothalamus, which is the portion of your brain that functions lots of simple things, basic functions that your body needs. Well, that hypothalamus secretes something called CRH. That CRH is a hormone and that hormone travels to the pituitary gland where it triggers the release of another hormone that tells the adrenal glands to produce our friend cortisol which we've probably heard a lot about. You've probably heard cortisol being brought up in advertisements. You've probably heard about it in articles. I mean, we're always talking about cortisol, but no one ever wants to address the fact that cortisol is good too. Cortisol is what gets the blood pressure up when we need it up. It's what gives us that energy that we need when we need it. It's what gives us that ability to perform at our best during times of peak performance. So don't think that cortisol is bad, but it's when we're constantly exposed to it when we shouldn't be, that it starts causing that oxidative buildup that we don't want. So how can we combat that nutritionally? Well, there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different foods you can eat that can lower cortisol a little bit. But recently it's been found that by increasing your amount of omega-3 fatty acids, by taking some fish oil pills or taking some fish oil supplements in general, that you can lower your cortisol levels. And there's additional benefits of taking fish oil and taking omega-3s. I mean, you're going to reduce the inflammatory effect that stress has caused. Stress can cause a lot of inflammation within the body. Omega-3 fatty acids reduce that. And in America especially, we are not getting enough in the way of omega-3 fatty acids. We're just flat out not. We're riddled with omega-6, which are pro-inflammatory. So this recent research is actually showing that we can change our biological response to stress. In a 2003 study by the Diabetes Metabolism Society, it was found that those that took 7.2 grams of fish oil had markedly lower levels of serum cortisol directly associated with mental stress. So that means the stressors that you face from work, possibly the stressors that you face from home, we're talking about flat out mental stress, which is what most of us deal with. And fish oil actually reduced those levels. What this means is that you can literally change your association with stress. You can roll with the punches and the cortisol isn't going to have the negative effect on your body like it would otherwise. And that's in addition to the anti-inflammatory components of omega-3s. So at the end of the day, remember that stress gets a bad rap. It's not always a bad thing. If we didn't have stress, we wouldn't be able to function. If we didn't respond to stress, well, we wouldn't respond to stress. We just sit there and we get eaten by a tiger or something. But I can tell you one thing, that stressing about getting stressed out is far worse than just taking some fish oil, getting through your day, and being the best version of yourself. I'll see you in the next video.